Peace and blessings, guys. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. We're back on another video. This one's going to be about how to find your purpose in life. As It's mostly as a man, but it can apply for a woman, too, because I can speak on my own testimony, my own experiences. Is number one, guys, number one, we have to cut off all temptations. You have to get, we have to give up the pornography. We have to give up the masturbation. We have to give up anything that's tempting us. That's because that, what that's going to do is that it's gonna waste your time, waste your energy, and it's gonna make you simp for a woman. It's gonna make you chase women. It's gonna make you chase things that are not linked to your purpose. So that's number one, guys, okay? Actually, number one will be to seek God's kingdom first and his righteousness and all things will be added into you. That's, that's, that's number one. But as you're doing that, we have to give up the temptations. We have to give up the woman just for a short period of time, okay? And when you go on social media and when you see other people in, in happy relationships or happy marriages, whatever, understand that that's their time, that's their season. That's what they got. You worry about what you got. Don't compare yourself to other people. Just because you're in your 30s or in your 20s and you see someone who's like 18 or 19 on their purpose already, like don't feel like you're already missing out. Everyone has their time to shine, okay? And you gotta understand that when it's linked to your purpose in life, we must stop. A lot of men need to hear this because this society, the real uh, pandemic is these simps, incels, beta males, where the, their whole life is just revolved around a woman. That's not good, okay? You gotta shift that energy, that energy, all that you're shifting to on woman, it should be on your purpose, okay? How I found my purpose well, is by seeking God's kingdom and his righteousness, and God slowly, slowly revealed to me. And through me doing that requires obedience, required me to change certain ways, give up temptations, you know? Uh, doing things that I knew, I knew that was not linked to my calling. I, 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 everyone has a conscience, right? And through my conscience, I realized, okay, like this is not, getting me anywhere you know the smoking weed all day like that's not getting me anywhere you know like or maybe on dating apps or like talking to getting in meaningless relationships like i knew in my soul my spirit that is not getting me anywhere uh get, being on social media for a long period of time not getting me anywhere uh not going to the gym uh eating unhealthy not getting me anywhere so it's all about building up your spirit and being connected to the most high God so he can lead you and guide you because he's our father and our father is going to show us what he wants us to do. Okay, now it requires obedience to much is given, much is required. So when God's going to elevate you, God's going to take it to the next level, much is required from you. So that must means you must give up the temptations. And when I say give up woman, that doesn't mean like be single forever. I'm just talking about like just for a short period of time so you can focus on your purpose. And trust me, guys, when you, when you start to focus on your purpose, that's when all the women just come to you. You know, women start to chase you. I can't make this up. That's when women start to chase you. Women want to text you, see how, what, what, you know, what you got going on. Okay, but when you're chasing women, she, she keeps you on the back of the rotation. She, she's entertaining a whole bunch of dudes. And you're, you're, you're last, okay? But it's not even about the woman. Your purpose is it's about doing something that makes you happy. Now, I see this whole trend going on now with the whole uh, cryptocurrency and Forex tra day trading and stuff like that. And not to say that you can't make money by doing that, but you have to know... You have to understand the charts. Right now is not a good time to be buying crypto. And my beliefs, my five-year experience in cryptocurrency, Bitcoin's going down to 15,000. Right now, Bitcoin is about 30,000. No one should be buying it, okay? Now, unless you have money like that to, to hold long-term, then sure. But if you, for us people who don't have millions of dollars, we want to buy at the lowest price possible and you have to hold. Now, Forex day trading, I don't much, much have much experience, but I would say this, guys, never quit your job to get into crypto, to get into Forex. That's what a lot of people do because they go on social media and social media is so fake. People have it under their, their bio that they, you know, Forex day trading and they, show, they, they act like they make money, but it's all fake, okay? Uh, Forex day, uh, day trading, a lot of those people, guys, they don't really make it like that, okay? Uh, cryptocurrency, same with that too. Because cryptocurrency only has a bull market for about a year and then the rest is you know bear market and it repeats, the cycles. You gotta, before you invest large amounts of money in something, you gotta do your research, invest. And to not just in the crypto, but invest in your time to research, to study. And that's what your purpose is about too, is to study, research, put in hours. You gotta understand the greats, you know, the best uh, best basketball players, the best soccer players, the best boxers, they studied other boxers as well too. And they, they put in the overtime, they put in hours. I mean, I think about it too, like, the reason why I'm going hard with the content, because I remember, you know, back when I was a child, I used to play a game called RuneScape. I used to play a game for hours and hours and hours, like, days you know and I, I went so hard on that so I now I'm thinking like if I went hard in the video game I could do that in real life 
If I was leveling up so much in a video game, I could level up in real life. If I put in that amount, the amount of time, put in the amount of energy, if I don't make excuses, if I don't, make, if I don't complain, get up early on time, uh, don't stay up too late unless you know, unless you have to, and just you know, have a schedule, be disciplined. That's what it's all about. When you get on your purpose, guys, you gotta be, you have to have discipline, discipline to keep on moving. Even though things are not going the way you want, you still focus on what you gotta go. But understand this too, guys. I see this a lot. People quitting their job to start to start being a YouTuber, to start doing forex and crypto. That's not a good, not a good move. In this society, this generation, people don't want to work no more. People don't want to, you know, start from the bottom. Start from the bottom, now we're here. People don't want to do that no more. People just want to skip the bottom and go straight to the top. And I understand that a lot of people, like, like I don't like to work for people, blah, blah. Like, I can understand that because, you know, some jobs could be, like, feel like slavery. But, hey, you know, we have to start from the bottom and understand that there's places like Mexico that only pay you, you know, pay the workers, like, $5 an hour. So you making $10, $15 an hour over here, you should be happy. And it's not even com nothing compared to what they're doing out there. So always remember, you have it better than someone else. So always be grateful for the opportunities that as presented your, presented your way, even though it's only, let's say you're only making ten fifteen dollars an hour. Start somewhere. You know, even the Bible says that a man who gains slowly and slowly will acquire will acquire wealth. But wealth gained by vanity shall be dismissed. I'll leave that verse somewhere here. I don't, I don't want to say that wrong, but it's pretty much you know stacking slow, being slow, and understand that don't leak your purpose to money. This is what a lot of people are doing. Money doesn't fill the void, guys. Money doesn't fill the void. Success doesn't fill the void. Drugs, alcohol, girls, you know, getting to all these girls, because that's what the program is nowadays where men are just, oh, it's all about women. I got to live a life for her, you know? That doesn't fulfill you. The only thing that fulfills you is what God has to do, has and put inside you, okay? God is what, who fulfills that empty void in our life. We can't get that empty, we can't fulfill that empty void in our life by material things. Hey, but it's crazy because when you go on social media, when we turn on the TV, when you go out in the world, that's what's being promoted. That's what we think, but that's not the truth. That is not the truth. You want it, you want it, your purpose to be linked, whether you're making money or not, it's your purpose. And you know that in due time, whatever, as you're seeking God's kingdom, his righteousness, things will be added to you. So let's say if you need a, a house, a car, God will add into you, but you gotta work. You gotta put in the time, overtime. Once that opportunity is present to you guys, go overtime, go hard. Go hard because you gotta understand there was a time when you were praying for that opportunity and now that opportunity presents itself, go hard, go hard. I'm telling you guys, go as hard as you can. And you know, that's what it's about, man. Your purpose is all about putting in hard work, being disciplined, not making excuses, not complaining, waking up early on time, um, no fat, semen retention, you know, uh, you know, using your, using, using your body for good, not to, to fornicate and do things that's waste of time, waste of energy. That's gonna, gonna drain you. So remember, stay on your purpose. Don't give in to temptations. That's number, that's, seek God's kingdom and his righteousness is number one. But after that, don't give in to temptations. Don't be chasing a woman, get off dating apps. Maybe take some time off social media for a little bit. And you know, find, now as you're seeking God's kingdom, God will show you guys, he's our father. Now some people don't belong to God. Some people are saying children. You know, I remember, a couple of days ago, someone was like, you know, Mark, you, you shouldn't talk about God because, you know, your channel won't grow as much. But it's like, God, I know some people don't like me talking about God, but it's like, wait a minute. God is the reason why I'm, I'm making these videos. <laughs> you know, this is this is what God wants me to do. So I'm always going to give him the glory, whether I have only one person watching me or a million people watching me. Like, I'm always going to give him the glory because he created me and he's the one who gave me this opportunity. He's the one that's bright, brought you to my channel. So... I'm always going to give him the glory, the praise, and understand that he's the one who transforms you. He's the one who fills that empty void in our life. None of these other content creators are going to tell you this. They're going to tell you to go to a Lamborghini dealership. Get the Lamborghini. Get the Ferrari. Uh, get the mansion. Get the penthouse. Don't, don't be fooled, guys. All right, don't be fooled. We must pay attention to our spirituality, our walk, and our spirit, because none of this stuff fulfills us. All right? Even when, you get, even when you're on your purpose and you start to accumulate success, you gotta, it's always God. God is the one who puts you in position. God is the one who gave you the honor. You know, and you got to give him the praise. It's not about money and material things, guys. Don't be fooled. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. Remember, seek God's kingdom first and his righteousness, and all things will be added into you. Don't give it to temptations. And work. Don't put in the hard work. Sweat. Okay, maybe you don't have your purpose yet. Start hitting the gym. Start doing things to build your discipline. It's baby steps. When a baby, before a baby walks, you got to crawl. So one of the ways you could do, guys, hitting the gym. Okay, that's the first thing you could do. Discipline. Put in the hard work. Suffer. Suffer the life you uh, suffer that the life that everyone else is living the party lifestyle every day, right? S suffer, you know, you put in the work, and all those people who are still partying, living that life every single day, right? 
eventually they're gonna see you rise and they'll be like, well, what, what, did, what did she do? What did he do? Okay, they didn't understand the nights where, you know, you were up till three in the morning, try to get it. You know, you were up three in the morning, learning a new skill, learning, you know, acquiring uh, wisdom, knowledge, understanding. And that's what you need on your, on your purpose too, guys, wisdom. Ask God for, if you lack wisdom, ask God for wisdom. That's, that's probably could be number one too. All right, wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. She's the one who promotes you. She's the one who gives you honor when you do embrace her. I love you so much. If you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Check out this end screen right here too. I'm out. Peace.